My name is Andrea, and this week I'm sharing three simple and delicious recipes using ground beef. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipes in the description box. So let's get started with Italian penne supper. First, we're gonna cook our pasta in boiling salted water. So my pasta has almost finished cooking, and now what I'm doing is adding in my kale. So if my kale looks a little bit different, that's because I'm using baby kale, which is a little bit more tender. And I'm just gonna let this cook with that pasta for about a minute. Okay, so it's been about a minute. Now I'm going to drain my kale and pasta. I'm not gonna rinse it, and then I'm just gonna set it aside. And now I'm just browning up my ground beef, onions, and garlic. I'm using a lean ground beef. I would def definitely recommend using a lean ground beef if you can. That way you don't have to worry about draining that fat. And, and now I'm also gonna add in my seasonings. Use whatever seasonings you'd prefer. I'm using a little bit of crushed red pepper, um, salt, and pepper. Okay, so my meat has finished cooking. Now I'm just adding in my tomatoes and my tomato paste. And just give it a good stir. Okay, and next you're just gonna add in that pasta and kale mixture into your meat. Now after you have your pasta all combined, if you want to adjust your seasoning, so I'm adding in a little bit of garlic powder, a little onion powder, and a little bit more salt. And give it another stir. And now I'm gonna add in my mozzarella. And this again is fresh mozzarella, if I didn't mention that. And you're gonna reduce the heat, gently stir this around and then let that mozzarella melt a little bit. So it's been about five minutes and that mozzarella is nice and gooey. So let me get this plated up and show you how I serve it. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. I'm serving my pasta with a chopped Caesar salad and a garlic breadstick. Stay tuned for the next dinner. So next up, we're making crunchy taco casserole. So we're gonna start off by browning a pound and a half of ground beef. Okay, so now my meat has browned and now I'm adding in one seeded red bell pepper and one poblano pepper, seeds removed as well. And poblano peppers are pretty mild, they're not spicy. So I'm just gonna let these veggies cook down until they're tender. Okay, so my veggies are nice and tender. So now I'm adding in my taco seasoning, my water, my salsa, and my green chilies. And I'm gonna stir everything together and let this simmer for a few minutes. Okay, so next I am going to add my rice to the mixture. Um, I felt like the meat mixture was a little bland, so I did add some salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. Of course, you'll just wanna season it to taste. And my rice, if I didn't mention it, is actually day-old rice. I prefer to use day-old rice when I'm um, using rice in a casserole. I'm just mixing it up. And next, I'm just adding in half of that Mexican cheese blend. Next, I'm just pouring the mixture into a prepared 9 by 13 baking dish. And next, I'm just sprinkling that remaining cheese right on top. And I'm going to pop this in my preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until that cheese has melted. I almost forgot to add my crushed tortilla chips. Okay, now it's ready for the oven. So here is the casserole hot out of the oven. As you can see, I garnished the casserole with some black olives and with some parsley. 
The recipe actually calls for cilantro, but my husband is not a fan of cilantro, so parsley works for us. And here is everything all plated up, uh, serving the casserole with some Mexican style corn and a little bit of sour cream on top. It'd also be good with pico de gallo, salsa, or even taco sauce. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Stay tuned for the next one. All right, folks, it's time for our final ground beef meal, and it doesn't get any easier than this. We are making a bacon cheeseburger pot pie. So I have a pound and a half of cooked ground beef. I seasoned it with salt and pepper, onion powder and garlic powder. To that, I've added some ketchup. And next, I'm going to add just a little bit of mustard, a tablespoon of mustard. The recipe calls for mayo, but since I'm not a huge fan of mayo, I'm substituting Greek yogurt. You can also use sour cream as well. And you're just gonna stir everything up. And next you're gonna add in some chopped cooked bacon and give it another good stir. Next, you're gonna lay one of your pie crust in a pie pan, and you're gonna put half of that meat mixture down. Then you're gonna add four slices of sharp cheddar cheese right on top. And then you're going to repeat the layers. And now you're gonna put that other pie crust right on top, and then just crimp the edges. Okay, so next I'm gonna add my sesame seeds, but I need something for those sesame seeds to adhere to. So the recipe says to just uh, spray cooking spray on top of the uh, um, pie, but I prefer to use heavy whipping cream. You can use that, you can use an egg wash, whatever you'd prefer, just a really light coating, and then your sesame seeds will stick. And then just sprinkle your sesame seeds right on top. Okay, I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 40, 45 minutes or until that crust is golden brown. I forgot to mention, don't forget to slit holes in the top of your pie. Okay, so here is the pot pie. I let it bake for 45 minutes and then I let it cool for about five minutes and then I cut out a slice, serving it with a side salad and here is the whole pie. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I have an entire playlist of quick and easy recipes using pantry items and freezer items. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.